Bria is uh, the Brooke Roberts Innovation Agency. We work on materials innovations. Um, we're design and technology led, uh, but I personally am from originally a medical background. Uh, I was a radiographer in the NHS for nearly two decades. So my personal journey is sort of at the crossroads of science and fashion. Uh, there are a lot of problems to be solved in the world and a lot of them are rooted in materials. You know, they range from uh, design, fashion, waste. So we set about trying to design and create materials that will solve some of those problems. Uh, so we end up working with people like Dr. Matthew Howard at King's College London. Your stitches, because you've got them back to this. So we're in the Wheatstone Innovation Lab. This is a laboratory space that we've set up at King's for our students. Uh, we have currently our artist in residence, Brooke, and she's running a workshop in knitting. So we're very interested in all kinds of making, not only the very high-tech stuff, because we think that having a knowledge of the skills at all levels of making sort of gives a more rounded understanding of, of how you make things basically. We're in our second workshop of five. Um, we're still focusing on hand knitting techniques and then throughout the workshops in the coming months we'll then be transferring those techniques onto domestic knitting machines and then we're going to move on to digital knitting techniques where things get more industrial and where we can start to look at wearables and more complex knit structures. So try and always centre your knitting, so if you want to do 40 stitches you do 20 each side of zero. Now part of the reason that we're doing workshops here in the Wheatstone Lab is that we also see an educational benefit to it, uh, both from the perspective of giving our students the ability to learn a new skill. The people in here are physicists, mathematicians, chemists and informat informatics people. So none of them probably thought to themselves, well, I'm going to learn about how to, to knit in, in my courses. The fact that we're able to sit here and, and explore the craft in this way, on this level, is a great thing. It's sort of therapeutic and fun. We can also take it to a whole other scientific level once we move through to the digital aspects of knitting and then really apply it scientifically. Um, so for me, I think it's an incredibly interesting, fun, but also a, a powerful um, craft and tool. It's the first piece of machine knit ever made in the Wheatstone Lab. Uh, alongside of that, we worked in the labs with uh, Matthew and Samuel to create machine-made um, knitted sensors. Uh, so I guess it was twofold. There was a creative and, and playful element through the workshops, but then we were applying much more of the, um, the structured and machine knit um, techniques to the sensors and trying to deliver a specific outcome. So on the table here, you can actually see uh, the prototype sensor that we've developed. This consists of essentially a soft fabric, knitted fabric sensor, okay? So this is a, quite a unique way of being able to sense pressure. But I want to tell you something about the, the context of this work and where we're uh, hoping to take it. We've been looking at whether we can use this kind of technology to create smart footwear. Um, so this actually is a very early attempt to make an insole shaped uh, sensor that could go, potentially go into uh, a medical orthotic boot or something similar. So um, in, for example, the treatment of diabetes, one of the issues that, that uh, you know, people with diabetes faces, face is the uh, lack of circulation to the foot. Um, so what we hope to do is to be able to measure, for example, where are the particular points on the foot where, you, where shoes or other footwear might be applying pressure and causing the circulation to be even worse and therefore potentially predicting where an ulcer might occur or even an amputation. Um, and yeah, so we're, we're currently looking to see if whether this technology might be feasible for that kind of um, uh, application. Personally, um, I've just found it very inspiring, 
actually. They're very focused um, on what they're doing. It's very um, rigorous. Uh, and that teaches us something about our practice as well, that if we want to solve problems using design, we need a, a de degree of rigor around that. Within the project that we've been, we've been running with Brooke, um, we got to explore different ways in which you can use knitting to create substrates, um, which is something new for us. Usually, you know, within the context of engineering, you don't get access to those kinds of hand skills, which you know, people in the crafts and the arts world um, you know, work with every day. You know, and most of that knowledge and, and um, you know, uh, understanding of how fabrics work is captured in people's fingertips. It's not really captured in textbooks. So that, for us, that's, that's the main value of, of doing these collaborations with, uh, with artists. To solve the world's problems, we need to be more creative. We need to be more innovative. And that means drawing on a broader skill set um, and having conversations beyond what we know within our disciplines. You know, this is where things are going. Um, so our residency, I think, is a key a key um, kind of part of, of that evolution actually of, of professions and of the careers of the future.